hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys for stopping by thank you so much for stopping by so in today's tutorial we'll be cutting and sewing this particular design on this on the screen it's a kimono gown we join it at the waist there's a flay join the flay is joined at the waist so the measurement i'll be working with is shoulder 16 the boss is 42 the waist is 37 my half length is 18 and the full length of the of the gown is 59 then from to determine our kimono we took i took my uh, our measurement from the mid of our neck line the mid of our neckline to our sleeve where i want the kimono sleeve to end and it's 13. so let's get started so as you can see the from the mid of our mid of our neckline to where the kimono will end is 12. so i added one inches um, for joining so the, i have so i have 13. so that was what I, that is what i cut out here 13 i folded into two because of the kimono sleeve 13, but I have more than 13. Yeah, but I can I will see trim it out. So the first thing we'll do now is to impute our measurement. So I'll take our, my normal measurement here, which is um, my neckline. I'll take three inches. So I'll, I'll, this is my three inches. This is my eight inches for our shoulder allowance, shoulder measurement. So on that shoulder line, I'll go down by one inch, just to give, because the shoulder is not straight. So I will rule it out. So this is it. This is our one inch, so I will extend it down, straight down, because it's the kimono top. We extend it straight down. So you can see, so these are top. So I'll be placing my, horizon, my horizontal measurement. At the neckline, yeah, our boss point is 11, plus half inch for joining on this, on the slip side, half inch for joining. So I'll use 11.5, yeah. Then this is our waistline. The half length from our shoulder to our, our waist length is 18. So I added one inch for joining out here. So this 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 11 and a half is my boss point. So I'll take this part as my waist line. So now we are we are going to impute our dart measurement on this side. This material is very colorful. I hope you guys can see the measurement. So, on this five, four point five for my dart. This is the four point five, and this is my bust. This is my bust line. So I would, my dart, I would, my dart will end at six inches here. Six inches. So what I will do, I will just notch it because this fabric is really disturbing. So I will notch it so that when I'm cutting my dart, I will know this where to place my dart. So if I'm cutting, I will take one half inch here on both sides. Then I'll sew it and end here six inches. So my bust measurement is 42. 42 divided by four is 10.5 so i'll add 1.5 inch my for my seam allowance 10.5 then 1.5 for my seam allowance at the bust line 
Then at the waistline. So my waist measurement is 37 divided by 4. We have 9.25 here. This is my then one inch for the darts and 1.5 inch for the seam allowance. So I'm adding adding 2.5 on this side. So now I'll connect from the, the from the waist to the boss. So this is our boss line. So from here I will take nine inch. Which is here. So I'll connect it like this. Curve it here a little, then curve it out. So I'll be cutting like this, straight down. Then to the on the neckline, I'll take four inches for the depth. Four inches and on the width five inches so now I'll cut out cut it out like this straight down As you can see this is the front So I'll be using the front to cut the back. So I'll use it to cut the exact measurement, leaving my zipper allowance on the side. This is my zipper allowance. I'll cut the exact measurement. Then I'll reduce the length of the back. I will show you how. Let me cut it out. The neckline, I will, I will just take one inch for the neckline at the back. Please notch the zipper side at the back. Notch the, the dart allowance too. The same dart allowance at the back. So you know where to sew your dart. So at the back, I will reduce it by one inch on this side. To reduce the length of the of the back. I'll connect it to this side. So that's the back. Let's notch uh, that again. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to sew down my dart. I'll sew the dart for the front and the dart for the back. So as you can see, I've joined the, my dart. This is the front. This is the front. And this is the back. And this is the back. So I'll be cutting this. I will cut through this place, my zip side. I will open it. So the next thing I will do now is to, I will cut facing for the back neckline. I will cut facing for the back neckline. Then on the front neckline, I will cut cape that will line on this side. So I will use this neckline to cut the cape that I will sew. Then on the sleeve side, I will just add, I will add band, use the fabric to create a band, one inch band. So I'll take 1.5, when I join it with the one inch, 
with the half inch I'll it will be remaining one inch so what I'll do now is to cut out all the facing so I'm, I'm done cutting this is the facing for the front the cape for the front neckline then this is for the back I'll cut it into two for the facing I'll be cutting the the down part of the dress I'll be cutting the flay part of the dress so our, our length our, the length of the gown the length of the gown is 57 that is our length of the gown so the upper part is 18 if you minus 18 from 57 you have 39 so I added one inch for seam allowance making it 40 so we are cutting 40 and the waist measurement of our, our waist measurement is 37 so I added two inches for zipper allowance to make it 39 so to make it 39 so I folded my fabric in a diagonal form my table is very small in a diagonal form so I'll divide I'm using the manual method now for the flay I'll divide my waist the 30, 39 divided by 2 So I have 19.5. So from this part, I'll take from this the edge of the fabric. I'll measure 23 downwards. Because the flay I'm using is not a full circle, it's, a, it's an half circle flay. That's what I'm putting on the down part of the dress. Half circle flay. So I'll measure from this part, I'll measure 23 inches downwards. Let me see if I can get my 19.5. So this is 23 inches. 23 inches round. You may not see it. So let me measure it and see if I'll get my 19 inches. So it's okay. So I'll be cutting it on this line. This so this is my waistline. So the next thing I'll be doing for me, I'll measure 40 inches, which happens to be the length of the skirt. I'll cut this side open. This this is the front opening at the front then that other part will be this other part I will have that joint will be the big zipper side so let me join it I will join the side of the the dress attach my flay to the down part before I fix my zip after fixing my zip that is where before I will now turn the neckline with the facing so ah. so I've joined the down part with the upper part. You can see. So this is the middle of the dress. I I split the the flay into two. So one on this side and one on the other side. This is the middle of the of the flay. Then this is the top part of the dress. So the next thing I'll be doing is to I will fix my zip. To fix my zip. So I will, I will sew this part down to where, where, my, where my zip will stop. Then I'll fix my zip from the upper part, from this part, straight down. So I'll fix my zip. I'll fix my zip at the back. So the next thing I'll be doing now, the next thing I'll be doing now is to turn the neckline. I'll be turning the back neckline the front then i'll add the band i'll add the band on the sleeve so this is what i'll be using i added my interfacing at the back to make it firm so i added my my band this is my band then this is for the neckline so let me sew it and show you guys 
So this is the final look of the dress. Thank you for watching. Please like and share. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.